Welcome to this video. Correlations. Correlations are a very interesting tool, since they have the potential to check and confirm earlier findings and hypotheses. There is a negative correlation between mtDNAM and the male part of the population Y, with the M45 mutation. This is one more indication that M is the female part or partner of the ancestor Amerindian, possibly together with LX especially in the case of Africa or in early Africa. This ancestor Amerindian is the ancestor of all humans. Evidence, including the fundamentals, shows that M is amarind and originates in the Amazon region and Amazon forest in South America, most specifically in the part that I call the origin Amazon forest. Definition of the origin Amazon forest. First round. mtDNA M is positively correlated and presents its top frequencies in the areas that present ADE soils, Terra Preta do Indio, and, perhaps consequently, archaeological sites, but extends further east than the ADE soils to meet the Mata Atlantica on the east coast of Brazil, or rather where it was. This also is an indication that the original Amerindians left more ADE soils and possibly archaeological sites than the ones that present mutations of the original, like M45 and M242. Second round. We do the same exercise again, this time more referenced and better fitting. mtDNA M presents its top frequencies in the sites. 1. South of the equator or Amazon River main tributary that starts in Bolem and runs to the west until Manaus and further west in the direction of, but not further west, than Iquitos. This area presents more ADE soils or Terra Preta soils, less arid zones or less interruptions without tropical rainforest. 2. East of the Andes the Andes presents no ADE soils or Terra Preta soils. 3. North of Caminho de Pibaru. 4. West of the Atlantic Ocean. Conclusion 01. When a region does not present higher frequencies of M, but of LX, A, B, C, D and X instead, this could mean that early on in the internal M45 and later mutations Amerindian expansions, kind of internal Austronesian expansions, with Amerindians that are also or still Q, but not anymore the original Q, M3 Amerindian, negatively correlated with the original M3 Amerindian. Amerindians with mutations like M45 would have taken over or turned over this region north of the main tributary starting in the east in Balem, Para, all the way west to Ecuador, and most probably use and controlled the Amazon River main tributary also on the south side to a certain extent, from that moment on. Conclusion 02. In other words, the Negro River, Yanomani, PV-92, Magdalena River, Colombia, Orinoco River, Venezuela, fall in the region with less M and less original M3 Amerindians. Conclusion 03. Mutations like M45 and M242 or similar, and to some extent the possibly consequent PV-92 are more abundant in the north of South America, which falls outside the original Amazon forest, east of the Grappara and Madeira River, south of Caminho P. Biro and south of the heads of the rivers south of the equator or the Amazon River main tributary added with the Sa Francisco River, Mata Atlantica, Salado e Colorado River, connected by Desaguadero River, the Paraguay River and the Parana River are kind of an interruption and present frequent M45 and or other mutations. 
Neanderthals and modern humans. mtDNA LX, M and N are considered by science and consensus to be the origin of all modern humans and in this order. I, J, M, hypothesize that M and L are American, that M is the ancestor and first in the order, and that at least L expanded first to the world as Neanderthal which is not the Austronesian expansion sensu stricto, and next to Africa in an extension of the Austronesian expansion probably as early as 50 to 200 Kia. I mentioned Neanderthal, because the mid-group of the Neanderthal carried L3, LX, long before mitochondrial Eve or African Eve did. Mitochondrial Eve and thus mtDNA LX has its presence recognized and mapped mainly in the west coast of Africa, right where the South American gyre coming from South and Central America arrives before it turns back to the Americas. Neanderthal is and probably was largely absent in Africa and as expected clearly has. 1. Its highest marker frequency, positive spatial association, and origin in the Americas, proven by fundamentals. 2. Its lowest marker frequency, negative spatial association, and late and limited origin in Africa proven by fundamentals and African haplotypes. M45 lineages and modern humans. The M45 lineages are considered by me, J.M., to not have been the first ancestors of all modern humans, because they are a consequence of the M45 mutation in the M3 marker of the M3 DNA, which is the original M3 Amazonian Amerindian which carries the ancestral DNA in which the M45 mutation occurred. I also observe that M45 is correlated with PV92. My hypothesis is that PV92 is not frequent where high frequencies of M3, the original not yet with M45 mutated M3, occurred which is the case in certain ancestral tribes in the origin Amazon forest. It is the M45 mutation that gave rise to population Y, M45, and was fundamental and exclusive in the Austronesian expansion. The research involving PV92 confirms my last, JM hypothesis that PV92 is more frequent in tribes where high frequencies of M45 mutations occurred. Observation. My hypothesis is that M3 comes first and is the original basis of any M45 mutation and the Austronesian expansion. In certain native Amerindian populations or tribes of South America, the frequency of LXMTDNA especially when combined with MMTDNA reached and reaches frequencies as high as 75%, higher than in recognized and mapped African haplogroups. I hypothesize that the origin of population Y lies in the Americas and South America and played an important role in the Austronesian expansion that departed from South America. This is an indication that in pre-Columbian times LXMTDNA could have been widespread in South America and the logical ancestor of LXMTDNA in Africa. LXMTDNA is considered to be the ancestor MTDNA of all humans by consensus. Consensus assumed LXMTDNA to be African, it never could prove this and never claimed this. This would mean that consensus would have to consider South America as the origin even if it would recognize none of my hypotheses. Thank you for watching. Bye.